this isn't a, really a celebration, it's a remembrance. Remembrance of the fact that we lost over 14,000 acres, almost 500 homes, and two of our residents. We've all heard it said many times that we'd rather not remember the fire. And in the same breath, we often say, but we need to remember the fire. We were just south of the southern border, and we did evacuate uh, with uh, three horses, five ducks, three cats, and three dogs. When the fire hit, he called me back within minutes and said it's really bad. And that day, it was a life-changing experience. Then when it comes to rebuilding, over half, almost 60% of the homes that were lost have been rebuilt or are in the process of being rebuilt. And there's really new growth that's happening as well. We still are doing our recovery projects for the fire assistance. The second program that we'd like to let you know about is our Trees Fit Tomorrow program. And it is our goal to reforest the burn scar from the fire. With Black Forest Together in El Paso County, we updated your community wildfire protection plan. Uh, and that was a large public process about a year and a half ago. Uh, we've worked on several mitigation projects with Black Forest together, uh, and we're happy to continue doing that into the future. And I look across here and I see so many people that we have spent time together. I just want you to understand how proud I am of you. I'll make my own happiness